can we manage the period that will come after the lockdown and how can we live with coronavirus? That's the question all governments around the world are asking. An Israeli company may have the answer. It's designed a tool that tracks the evolution of the infection in real time and predicts its proliferation. Here we can see the full territory. The south section is less affected than the northern one, and when we zoom in the city, we see that the red dots become numbers. These figures represent the number of people who are infected or in danger. According to a survey published in the scientific magazine Nature, 44 percent of the contagious cases happened before the symptoms manifested themselves. That's why it's important to know quickly who the infected people have been in contact with. We wanted to provide government the ability to do contact tracing and understand uh, the infection tree, the infection uh, method, how people, uh, which people were infected uh, in the last 14 to 13 days from the virus, alert them and uh, make them go test themselves or go into a uh, quarantine. Uh, this is on the tactical level. On the strategic level, uh, we wanted to provide government solutions that enable the decision makers uh, to understand uh, how many people infected, how many tests they need, how many ventilators they, they will need. Is the quarantine effective or not? What areas they need to quarantine and what areas they can release? NSO is mainly known for its spyware, strongly condemned by the defenders of human rights. The company is very discreet and does not communicate often to the media. The CEO of NSO has exclusively decided to invite I-24 News to his office to reassure people about this new tracking solution. We're doing all of this by uh, using uh, big data analytics and uh, AI, uh, using uh, cellular data that uh, the government provide. Uh, all the data belongs to the government. We only provide the technology. We're not operating the technology. And we build it in a way that will keep uh, the privacy uh, of the people uh, very confidential. NSO has a bad reputation in the media. Each time it is mentioned, it's usually a complaint from someone who says he was tracked by technology designed by NSO. Did you develop this management system against coronavirus precisely to restore your image? First of all, I disagree. I think that um, we saved hundreds of thousands of lives around the world because of our uh, technologies and because of our solutions. I think the problem with other solutions is that they are confidential and uh, sometimes we cannot be so transparent uh, about uh, the tools because of national security of a lot of countries. Here is a different case. Uh, here, I think that uh, since it's a, a, it's a very transparent solution, it's a solution that is not uh, uh, regulated or confidential, and uh, we only sell it uh, to government, and we can share more uh, about what we're doing and how we're doing. Uh, and the reason that I'm sitting here and uh, speaking to you very freely is because I have the ability to do it uh, on this uh, great uh, solution. And, and I think that uh, part of understanding um, uh, privacy or, or uh, to reduce the fear from privacy violation is, um, is to be transparent. This system, designed to manage the pandemic, was developed in cooperation with the Israeli Defense Ministry. Still, it is not authorized yet in the country, especially because authorities are worried about safeguarding privacy. It's a question that concerns the entire world as we continue the battle against coronavirus.